everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet and today I want to talk about me time. Now I actually found a video from a YouTube channel that I've been following, uh, Essie Button. It was an adorable video she did with one of her YouTube friends and it was all about me time and she did a me time tag. So I thought that's so cool, I really want to do a me time tag video because I mean, me time is just so important, but yet it's the one thing that we really don't get enough of. I think me time is so important to like rest and, and recharge and it helps our creative juices and just makes us more productive in the long run. So basically, I have a series of questions that were part of the video. So question number one, what do you watch or read during me time? Uh, I would say probably my all time favorite sort of me time relax sitcom to watch is The Golden Girls. To me, the Golden Girls are like comfort food. Like every episode is like eating a huge bowl of like pasta and cheese. And right now I'm actually watching um, old episodes of Sex and the City just to kind of get some like fashion inspiration. Um, as far as what I read, like I would love to tell you that I read some like fancy, um, you know, heady, smart book or something, but I don't. Shocker. My favorite thing to do in me time when I want to just like zone out is to read fashion magazines. I actually buy a lot fewer fashion magazines now that Pinterest is around and I spend most of my time just sort of pinning images and stuff, but I do still have a few fashion magazine favorites in Style Magazine and People Style Watch. These are probably my top favorites. If I want hard news, like of course celebrity gossip, I'll pick up an Us Weekly, which I do occasionally. Because I find Us Weekly tends to be a little less trashy than some of the other um, magazines. I will also read my mother subscribes to People, so sometimes I'll steal her People magazine. What do you wear during me time? And the original video had hashtag no bra. Um, I gotta admit, I always wear a bra. <laughs> you know, for some of these girls that are, you know, small, like a D cup or something, which is small to me. And I'm not bragging, ladies. I have the shoulder dents to prove that I'm not bragging that I am a overly endowed woman. Um, but I always wear a bra, but I actually will find it's really difficult, and I'm not going to show you because it's way too embarrassing. But I actually have a bra that is it's wire free and it's in my size, which the only ones you can find are like. It's really bad. I've tried to find wire-free bras in my size and the only things that come up are like nursing bras or like mastectomy bras and I'm like, I'm not either one of those, but I do have some that are not attractive, I will admit, and I would love if they made like attractive, like comfortable wire-free bras in uh, like plus plus size, um, but right now I just kind of have to deal with my sort of granny bras. They are satin, which is... A bonus they they're not very attractive but they they are satin and they are comfortable so I definitely wear one because I need some support but I don't want like the whole wire and stuff I, you know I would love to have some glamorous lounging clothes um, to be honest I frequently wear yoga pants when it when it's me time like not like out to dinner with friends or anything like I've seen some girls do um, but if I'm sort of lounging, because usually like I'll wear them because me time is like before or after I'm going to work out, like I might, you know, go for a walk or jog or something. So I like to have yoga pants on. I have some sweatshirts in different, these are actually from, most of mine are from Old Navy to be honest. Um, this one's a little bit lighter weight for like transitional weather. I have some that are heavier for like when New England winters get really uh, cold and I like to kind of pick some maybe in pretty colors or some neutrals and to be honest my thing is I want comfortable footwear so I have my if you can see these are my um, Minnetonka moccasins these actually are are fuzzy in the middle but I have I have a bunch of them because they're just so comfortable what are your me time beauty products now if I were to tell you all of my beauty products we'd be here all day but some of the things I like to do when I'm relaxing for me time is I've actually found this, this is from Creative Nail Designs. Um, I've mentioned this in I believe my manicure video. Um, this is almond moisture scrub, which you use to scrub on your hands, and then this is almond illuminating mask. And it just feels so, um, it's actually got some like shimmer in it, and it almost feels like those paraffin waxes that you can dip your hands in. It's just very kind of like creamy, and you just kind of put it on your hands, and then I sort of wrap um, 
warm towels around them and just sort of let them sit. Um, that's kind of something I do in me time because you can't really do a lot of other things. Like you can only sit and like watch episodes of the Golden Girls or something like that um, because you can't do anything with your hands. Another thing I really like to do in me time because I, I work at a dance studio part time and I'm very active. I use these yoga toes. They are, <laughs> I don't know if they still sell these. I've had these forever. Um, you basically, they look like, like things you put at the, um, you put your toes in at the pedicure place. If you're not used to them um, and your sort of feet are really tight, they can be painful in the beginning. Um, but once you kind of get used to them, like if I have like aches and pains in my feet or anything, like they just relax it. They're supposed to be good for your posture. Like they're just supposed to be, they're essentially like a yoga class for your feet. What is your current favorite nail polish? Um, I love Creative Nail Designs Shellac, which I don't know if they're available to the general public. Um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so I have the whole um, professional kit at home, so I do them myself. I don't know if I have a favorite nail polish, because like, I, change, I change nail polishes as often as like... Well, I change nail polishes, I guess that's the saying. Um, but I'm like super into dark colors right now. Um, I actually used their Midnight Swim, which is kind of like, it's a vi it's a very like navy, but there's some like green in it. I actually wore this um, recently because I was wearing like a navy floral dress to a wedding, and so I put this on my nails. It was a very prim proper dress, and I put this on, you know, just to kind of edge up the look a little bit, and it was really cool. And I'm dying to try a black, this black pool. I'm dying to try like black on my nails. What do you eat, drink during me time? Um, I'm not a coffee drinker. I love my tea. Um, tea with honey and lemon is my absolute favorite. Um, if I'm going to snack on something, I don't really keep candy in the house. Um, I just, I mean candy, it tastes good, but I always feel so gross after I eat it. So if I'm going to snack on something like that I need a crunch or something, uh, I'll pick popcorn. Another thing that I just like, just in the last year, I've started doing is clementines because um, you get some great vitamin C, but they're not as difficult to peel as oranges, and they take a little while to eat, so you're not just like mindlessly um, stuffing your face with stuff. And they're really sweet. They're really good. And I don't know. Let's see if I can juggle juggle them. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Wow. Okay. No, I can't juggle. Anyway, what is your current favorite candle? Um, I might be the only girly girl on the planet that actually doesn't really have scented candles. I'm kind of paranoid about flames and like that I'll forget that they're burning and forget to turn them off and I'm just, I've always been like really weird about that. So I don't have scented candles. Sometimes I'll do like a room freshener but like, you know, plug-in thing. Um, I would love to do more often. I guess I just kind of keep forgetting to use it. Do you ever have outdoor me time? I am not an outdoorsy person. I am, as comedian Jim Gaffigan would say, an indoorsy person. So I don't really like the woods and nature. I appreciate that it's there, but I'd rather look at it from like a temperature controlled window. But I will say if I am writing and I get sort of like writer's block or I just get really frustrated and need to clear my head, I will like throw on my sneakers and go for a walk. Bear in mind, I live in a very suburban neighborhood. Um, and I will try to walk on more like side streets and that don't have heavy traffic because it's just quieter, um, not in the woods or anything like that, but that would be my version of like outdoor me time. Would you ever go see a movie alone? Um, I never have gone to the movie theater alone to see a movie. I'm not opposed to it. I don't really have a problem with people doing it. I mean, you're kind of, I don't know, the movies are kind of a dark place so it's not like people are going to be staring at you like oh they're there alone. To be honest I, I guess I probably wouldn't go alone because I actually really prefer to watch movies like in my living room. Like I know some people they want like the big screen and for me I'd rather have like the comfort of my couch. What is your favorite online shop? Um, I do most of my shopping online now which is not great for my credit card bill but my go-to sites are probably Forever 21 and Kohl's when it comes to like clothing and accessories. Um, I find that they have a really great selection. They tend to be, Kohl's is pretty good quality actually. Um, and they're really affordable. For beauty products, I tend to go to Sephora, although um, Ulta has been very appealing to me lately. 
for everything else, I pretty much, I, I go with Amazon because you can just find almost anything there. And lastly, do you have anything to add? What else do you enjoy doing during me time? I, I would say, I mean, brainstorming for my blog. I, I love cooking in me time, like trying out a new recipe, creating a new recipe, something like that. So I would say cooking, if I can do it, if I have enough time to do it and I'm relaxed, I can turn on some music. For some reason, I love like Billie Holiday when I'm cooking. I don't know why that is. And that's my me time tag video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to do a me time tag video, I would love to see it because I would love to see what you do in your me time. Um, so leave it in the comment section below. Um, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page and like this video and check out everydaystella.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join us next time. And you're probably all like, okay, she's cray cray. Did I just say cray cray? Hashtag, I totally did not say that.